Hey folks, it's your brother Mad Black, the most dangerous black man on the internet, and I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So I saw this video clip actually on Nicole View's Twitter. She was the first one that I saw repost this, and I want to talk about this clip just a little bit because it, it proves a point that even uh, our broken clock can be right every once in a while. I think even Nicole Views put that as her uh, headline for this actual video. And the video is actually showcasing Ann Coulter, and she is on This Week on ABC with George Stephanopoulos and some other folks. And basically she talks about how the Democrats and liberals they use black people for votes, but they don't do anything for black people. And she says that if there's anyone in this country that is actually owed anything, it's actually black people. Because, we, you know, black people were the ones that were forced to work for nothing for, for years, 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 and years, for several generations. Okay. So she says if there's anyone in America that actually deserves anything, it's actually black people. And... You know, she says these liberals and Democrats, they use black people, people for votes, but they don't actually do anything for them. They kind of just push black people to the side and they want to do things for the LGBT, for feminists and immigrants and everybody else and give all these rights to everybody else. But they don't want to do anything for black people. So, like I said, every once in a while, a broken clock can be right. And, you know, I'm no fan of Ann Coulter. I think she is a, a scary and disgusting individual. For those who don't know who Ann Coulter is, she is one of the original bigot bust downs that's been on mainstream media and books at conventions and everything else. Okay, she she's the one that a lot of these newer ones make themselves want they want to be Ann Coulter. She's been around since the nineties. Okay. I think she came about during the during the Clinton years. And she was one of the people coming up during then. Like I didn't realize how old she was until I looked this up this morning that Ann Coulter's actually in her 60s. I did not realize she was that old, but I mean, she's always looked strange. Like she she doesn't look like she's aged that much, but she has always looked like a some sort of creature from a horror movie, you know, like uh Jeepers Creepers or something like that. And I would not want to be anywhere near her in any type of closed space or capacity. But, like I said, she's been around for a long time, and a lot of these other bigot bust downs have tried to pattern themselves after her, where they, you know, they try to beautify themselves, but they spew some of the worst, nastiest rhetoric that comes from the right wing. Okay? So a lot of these other ones have tried to pattern themselves after her. And so she's like the she's like the alien queen of the the bigot bust downs that have appeared all over, especially on Fox News and on a lot of these conservative platforms. And now now they spread themselves all over social media. Even some of the black ones have tried to pattern themselves after her, which is which is hilarious, by the way, because she's like the quintessential ideal of what a white woman is supposed to be extremely emaciated skinny with long blonde hair and blue eyes right so but you know like i said i've seen a lot of these asian conservatives latina conservatives and black conservatives try to pattern themselves after ann coulter probably the only one that doesn't somewhat do that is maybe candace owens candace owens is kind of like the new model but you know like i said ann coulter is the original bigot bust down so anyway you know, I'm going to play some of the audio of what she actually said, and then I'll give a little bit more commentary on it. But just so you can hear what she actually had to say about America owing black people something and and, and, and listen to the reaction of the other people that are on the panel, by the way, because they, they, they are quintessential liberals. George Stephanopoulos, he worked in uh, I believe he actually worked for the Clintons, if I'm not mistaken. But he, he's also been around for a long time, but he's a quintessential dyed-in-the-wool, uh, middle-of-the-road Democrat liberal. 
And he's one of these people that likes to push that nonsense for everybody except for black folks. So let's listen here. They use black people for votes, but they don't give black people a goddamn thing. And Ann Coulter is absolutely right about that. Avery and Jim Crow. Let me rewind it from the beginning. The way liberals, the way liberals um, have treated blacks like children and many of their policies have been harmful to blacks. At least they got the beneficiary group right. We do have to, I mean, we shouldn't. There is the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow laws. We don't owe the homeless. We don't owe feminists. We don't owe women who are desirous of having abortions, but that's, or, or gays who want to get married to one another. That's what civil rights has become for much of the left. Immigrant they dropped rights the blacks after rights? five minutes. Immigrant rights are not civil rights? Um, no, I think civil rights are for blacks. See, this is essentially the problem, and the Republicans what did, don't, wait, don't, don't I just understand. Say, what have we done to the immigrants? We owe black people something. We have a legacy of slavery. Immigrants haven't even been in this country. But you see, most of us are either immigrants or are the descendants of immigrants. Yeah, see, and they, there, there's the rub, as they would say. Okay, and that's the problem, is that you have a lot of these people who just got here. Either they just got here or their parents just got here. They're working for themselves. Okay? And that's what that's how they work politics. It's only when it comes to black people that we don't work so much for ourselves. We want to work for everybody else. Or these that's what happens when we get mixed up in these political ideologies, all these isms. We always wind up working for other people and not for ourselves. And that goes for the LGBT community, that goes for uh, black people who involve themselves in uh feminism. This goes for black people who involve themselves in the immigrant movements. We always get dispersed and broken up and working for everybody else, and we get nothing in return for ourselves. And that's that's just not how things work. You don't need to be allies with everybody to get things. But, uh, like I said, Ann Coulter was right in this regard. Okay, She said that even though liberals treat black people like children, which is also absolutely true, they treat black people terribly, don't really speak to them in any type of adult manner, that's why I say the legacy of slavery, uh, the ideas and the mentality that goes with, uh, behind the master and slave relationship has not really changed in this country. That's why they treat black people like children, okay? And they, 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 they give black people fish fries, they go to a black church and they sing songs, and that's all black people get. It's always about symbolism, it's always about things that are not tangible or things that we can't actually use to grow or get by in any type of realistic sense is always nonsense, okay? That's why these Democrats, they'll come to us and they'll start dancing, uh, talking, uh, speaking in, in Negro spirituals and all this other nonsense. They never do anything that's, that's realistic for black people. They don't talk to us like we're adults. But, so she's right about that in that regard, but she said, at least they got they know that they're supposed to be doing something for black people, but like I said, they never actually do. They always they just cast black people to the side and want to work for everything else. But like you said, you hear these liberals and Democrats within this this little sound clip, they automatically want to switch to you don't think immigrants are, are is a civil rights thing. They don't get civil rights. No. They're not from here. So no, they don't get civil rights. And that, that's the one thing I don't like about the word civil rights. Even uh, Dr. Claude Anderson said this. He said, I, who the hell is civil? It should be called black rights because that's what it was um, originally supposed to be about. We got taken away from that and they kind of steered us off course by even renaming it civil rights. Now it applies to everybody. A white woman can be under civil rights. Gay people can be under civil rights. That's what I'm saying. You can't. This is what happens when we get taken off course when we let our own movements be hijacked by the powers that be or these other groups, they always want to turn it around to include themselves and they, they, they exclude us from it. And we get all the punishments. We get all the, the negative aspects of America and everyone else gets all the benefits. And I'm tired of seeing that. So even uh, Jack Skellington, Miss Ann Coulter herself, even she understands how this is supposed to work. Now, do not go thinking that Ann Coulter is some ally of black people. She is not, okay? Like I said, she's a vile individual. She said a lot of crazy things in the past. I would advise you, if you don't think this woman's crazy, probably you probably try reading some of her books 
I actually did read some of her books back in the early 2000s, and she is not someone I would want to follow. Like I said, I would not want to be in a closed room with someone like that. But you guys can let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. And thank you all for welcoming, welcoming me back to this type of platform. And hope to see you soon with some more great content. Anyway, Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.